Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a science fiction fantasy film, Cocoon. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. At night, some dolphins suddenly surface somewhere off the coastline of Florida, and linger around. After a while, a beam of light breaks through the clouds, beaming down to the deep ocean. Soon, the remains of a sunken city manifest themselves in the beam of light, awaking from a long sleep of thousands of years. Handsome is a charter boat skipper in a small town of the Florida coast, and often takes his guests sailing and fishing. One day Handsome is approached by a group of four outside visitors. Instead of going sailing for relaxation, the group charter his boat, and hire him to take them diving off the coast, for a search of the remains of a sunken city. From time to time the group raise several giant barnacle-encrusted rocks from the ocean floor, and wrap the rocks up before bringing them aboard. They seem unwilling to let Handsome know more information. The outside visitors' activities catch the attention of three seniors, Ben, Art, and Joe, who are the residents of a retirement home next door to the villa, that the outside visitors have rented. The outside visitors' arrival disappoints the threesome, since the threesome have been trespassing to swim in the indoor swimming pool of the unoccupied villa. Noticing the new neighbor's strange actions, the threesome secretly follow them to get the facts. Then the threesome suppose those people may engage in illegal activities, and therefore, they continue to sneak into next door to swim without guilt. One day, getting to the pool, the threesome see some giant rocks lying on the pool floor. They think it's weird, but don't get bothered and enjoy a nice swim there. However, during their swim, they feel energized and even younger than ever. In addition, they find they all have a newfound hormone desire. That night, Joe and his wife no longer sleep separately and restore their hormonity. Meanwhile, Ben has a hormone shower with his wife, and Art conveys his love to a woman at his age. The weird outside visitors continue with the underwater search. One day, while the group of four all head back to the ocean floor, Handsome touches their detection equipment. But the equipment suddenly screeches to panic him, making him more curious about the mysterious rocks. Then, he asks the charming woman of the group, Beauty, about what the rocks are used for. Beauty tells him those are giant sea anemones, a rare species living at the bottom of the sea, and their mission is to bring back some of this rare species to the aquarium. While Handsome speaks, he accidentally hurts his foot. Seeing he cries out in pain, Beauty gives his aching foot rubs, and his pain magically disappears. As he has been deeply attracted to Beauty, he takes this chance to ask about her relationship status. When she says she is single, he asks her to go out on a date with him. To his great disappointment, she doesn't accept and finds some excuse to leave. Later, when Handsome makes some repairs on his boat, he hears some noises from Beauty's cabin, and goes there to take a look. Squinting through the peephole, he sees her changing clothes inside. Handsome knows it is creepy to spy on her, but he can't walk away, for his feet seems paralyzed. Unexpectedly, following her clothes, she peels off her skin, revealing a glowing alien body. This scares the shit and hormones out of Handsome. He runs to the deck, trying to start up the boat to sail away, Learning what happened, the leader of the group urges Handsome to calm down, and pulls down his lower eyelid to reveal the glowing skin, to explain who they are. Handsome is so scared that he jumps off his boat. Struggling in the water for a while, Handsome gets back to the boat, since that place is too far away from the shore. Then, the leader tells him the four of them are aliens from the planet Antaria. 10,000 years ago, Antarians came to Earth and built an outpost. However, due to a catastrophe, the outpost sank to the ocean floor, and 20 Antarians were forced to stay behind on the earth, sleeping at the bottom of the ocean within rock-like cocoons. The reason why the four of them returned to earth, is to take their comrades back home. After learning the truth, Handsome calms down, and decides to help them. Thanks to the unusual powers of the pool, Joe recovers from cancer miraculously. A few days later, the threesome take their best buddy along for another dip. Knowing they secretly use the pool without the owner's permission, the best buddy refuses to join them. Soon, they see someone returning to the house, so they hide in the pool house's changing room. Much to their shock, they see the Antarian leader strip off his fake human skin, to reveal his alien self, that scares the shit and hormones out of the seniors, who have to hurry back to the retirement home. The threesome tell the orderlies what they saw, and demand to call the police. However, the police don't want to buy their smelly shit and hormones, but rather, they believe the threesome just make up a story about aliens to cover up trespass. So the police close the case. Losing the chance of swimming in the pool, Joe finds his cancer returns. 
Therefore, Ben goes find the leader and negotiates with him, hoping that they can be allowed to use the pool once again. The leader says he has been waiting for the chance, to rescue his comrades for 10,000 years. Out of sympathy for Joe, he can allow them to continue to use the pool, but only if they ensure the safety of the cocoons. Ben thanks the leader for his act of kindness, and promises they won't touch the cocoons. Later, the seniors convince their wives to join them for a swim. But right before they set off, the best buddy intercepts them, and says is against the rules of nature by doing so, and drags his wife away. Despite that, it doesn't bother the threesome, and they enjoy a rejuvenating swim that day. As the days go by, the aliens learn to play cards with the threesome, and the seniors find their lives renewed with energy. Ben's wife climbs up a tree with her grandson, and Art goes out for a night of ballroom dancing. However, Ben warns his friends not to show off their newfound vigor. The rejuvenated Joe falls back into his bad habit of philandering, and has an assignation with a waitress. Knowing he is cheating on her, Joe's wife leaves him to room with her bestie. Meanwhile, Handsome has fallen in love with Beauty despite her alien origin. Beauty has the same feeling for him, and displays affection by firing off an energy ball to strike Handsome, which is a kind of Antarian connection Handsome quite enjoys. Over lunch, noticing Joe is upset about his wife's leaving him, Art recommends they go to relax in the pool. The best buddy is ashamed of his friends, for they refuse to act their age. So he tells other seniors it is the pool's rejuvenating powers that makes the threesome feel younger. Meanwhile, he jeers at Joe for his wife has left him. Joe loses his mind and runs up to beat him, but knocking out an orderly instead. Seeing Joe is capable of beating a strong young man, the other seniors are convinced what the best buddy said is true. Shortly after, all the seniors desperately rush to the pool, splashing and playing in the water. What's even crazier is that some errand elders try to crack open one of the cocoons. Right then the Antarian leader comes back, and ejects them from the villa. When the leader opens the cocoon, his fellow Antarian within it has become feeble and soon dies. And the leader sheds tears of grief. In fact, the pool's water was charged with life force to give the cocooned Antarians energy, since too many elders came into the pool at once, the pool has been completely drained of its life force. The leader can do nothing, and then quietly leaves the house without blaming the threesome. Later that night the best buddy's wife gets to the end of her life, and he carries her lifeless body to the pool in the hope of reviving her. However, drained of its power, the pool is now useless. Ben can't relieve his terrible sense of blame, so he goes to find the leader to apologize. The leader tells him Antarians are virtually immortal. But now he understands the pain of separation between life and death. Meanwhile, he has to return the remaining cocoons into the Atlantic, since the cocooned Antarians are too weak to survive the trip home. Later, Ben calls for the seniors to help the leader place the cocoons into the sea. Grateful for their help, the leader says he can take the elders to Antaria, and the Antarian spaceship still has 30 empty seats. In Antaria the seniors can share the human experience with the Antarians, and will experience a different civilization as well. More importantly, the seniors will never grow older and never die there. Most of the seniors accept the offer, and start to settle their earthly affairs. Ben tells his grandson the truth about the leader's offer, and Art gives all his money away to strangers on the street. Joe's wife forgives him, and agrees to go together. One night the seniors secretly get aboard Handsome's boat, waiting for the spaceship, However, the orderlies soon find the missing seniors, so they contact local authorities. While Handsome's boat pulls away, the Coast Guard ships show up. With a thick fog, the Antarian spaceship appears in the sky, and pulls Handsome's boat from the water. At the last moment, however, Handsome jumps into a raft, choosing to remain on Earth. Soon, the spaceship disappears into the night sky. A few days later, a funeral is held for the missing seniors, and their family believe the seniors drowned in a boating accident. During the sermon Ben's grandson looks toward the sky and smiles, as the little boy knows the truth. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Peace out.